Hey guys, I just want to show you a project I've been working on in Minecraft. It's up here. Or at least a good view of it is. This is a arithmetic logic unit. And an ALU is found in every processor because it does math. And math is important. It is 16 bits. And somewhat slow and uh, big and unwieldy, but it's implemented in a video game, what do you want? I have it set up hopefully so that when I add registers and RAM, probably not very much RAM, and a uh, program counter, it'll be a legit computer. And not just any legit computer, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, I'm gonna have it add 1 plus 1. Well, how about 2 plus 2? Or 2 plus 1? How exciting, right? But that up there was one of the inputs. Here's the other. I'm going to do 2 plus 1. It's going to be crazy. And these are the control bits. The control bits will let you do various things to the inputs and output that to something else. So. I can set some to zero so I can get the other one out and send that somewhere else or negate them or bitwise and or plus. These are the only two real mathematical operations my LLU can do. It can add and it can and, uh, but that's enough. So I'm going to turn that on so it adds it. And we look over here and this is reversed because there's a huge bus taking all the values from the end of the ALU all the way back over here. So when it comes around back, it gets pointed this way. So we bitwise, I mean, we added 2 plus 1, we get 3, which is 1 1 binary, there it is. And what else? Oh yeah, this is not just any 16-bit ALU, it is a 16-bit ALU which, once it, the other bits of a computer are stuck onto it, will have, like, actual support, because there's this very cool book uh, called The Elements of Computing Systems uh, that I read uh, about a year ago, and it has, like, an example computing platform which shows, uh, which is used as a educational tool to let you learn how uh, computers work from the bottom up. And the reason this is relevant is it has a very simple um, but robust instruction set and machine code and just kind of the specs of the machine. And they're simple enough that I implemented its ALU here. That this is, um, it's called the hack platform and this is um, a hack computer's ALU. So when you uh, so when I uh, connect all the rest of the parts of the computer to to this, I will have an assembler and a compiler ready that can read uh, actual like programming languages and translate them into machine code that can run on this. It can run on a a uh, a Minecraft computer. So I don't know if that's been done before. I don't know if there's been one of these video game computers that has a compiler that works for it. But once this is done, this will have one, which will be awesome. Um, but don't expect to uh, don't expect it to run very fast at all. Uh, I'll go back to the output and show you how slow it is by um, demonstrating the wonders of ripple carry adding. And while I go back, I'll point out the other, all the little parts of it, because those are cool. Um, the control bits run out to muxers. This is a muxer right here. And this just selects out of all of the uh, various operations it can do. This, These muxers select from them, or choose out of all of 
the operations it does, which wants the output. It's doing all the operations all at once. So um, all the various things it can do, bit, bitwise and adding, uh, negating, all that. It does it all. It does it to all of the numbers all at once. But what it outputs is based on the muxes. So it, it always has all those numbers ready. The muxers tells it which one to spit out. The adders are right here, from right there to right here, and it goes all the way down 16 bits. So like here's one, here's another adder. And this is probably the slowest part of the machine right now because it's using something called ripple carry adding, which means it adds two bits and then sends the carry down and adds two bits and sends the carry down so it goes from one to the other to the other to the other you listening pig? it goes from one to the other to the other to the other all the way down until it gets here which takes a long time it's not doing them all at once and an optimized way is to do uh, batches of them at once the carry operations but which would make this much faster instead it kind of has this cascading effect which takes a long, long time uh, when you're using big numbers. And that and so it based on how big the number you're adding is it, there's a longer and longer wait to see the sum. I'll show you that now. adding something huge. So See, by the time I've gotten down here, it's already done it. But I'll negate one of them, and you can watch it ripple down. See, there it goes. So the bigger the number, the more protracted your wait for an answer is. But, you know, I'm sure this thing is, you know, not exactly very well optimized. In fact, I'm sure it's just kind of a cluster right now of just bad design practice that I could clean up later. Um, but uh, it's done, and it works. And like I said, I'm very excited about it being an actual platform with actual compilable code that can run on it. That's going to be very cool. So uh, this is probably a big, big chunk of the work that's done and uh, everything else is going to be very tedious. The RAM is going to be very tedious. Clearly buses are going to be very hard. That is a 16-bit wide bus right there. I'm going to have to figure out how to get everything in line and wrap around as few times as possible because a lot of the weight also is this huge bus because the repeaters add lots of time. But uh, as I build this thing, I'm going to figure out more and more ways to speed it up. And uh, maybe by the time I have all the parts in place, it'll be um, more than usable. And some of that compilable code, you'll actually want to click start and wait for it to finish instead of walking away from Minecraft and checking the answer, you know, an hour from now. So uh, we'll see how the in uh, instruction speed goes once I get there. But just the fact that this works is very cool. And the fact that it's going to be uh, something awesome in the near future is something to look forward to. I hope you guys check in later to uh, see uh, this once I have a few other finished chunks done. Thanks for watching.